Welcome to the place where topics are broken down and explained. Today's topic will be on gold box conjecture. The gold box conjecture is one of the most famous unsolved problems in number theory, and has been the subject of much research and fascination for over two centuries. The conjecture, named after the German mathematician Christian Goldbach, proposes that every even integer greater than 2 can be expressed as the sum of two prime numbers. In other words, for any even number greater than 2, such as 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and so on, there should exist two prime numbers whose sum is equal to that even number. For example, 4 can be expressed as the sum of 2 and 2, both of which are prime numbers. Similarly, 6 can be expressed as the sum of 3 and 3, or 5 and 1, both of which are prime numbers. The conjecture suggests that this pattern holds true for all even numbers greater than 2. The Goldbach conjecture was first proposed by Goldbach in a letter to the famous mathematician Leonhard Euler in 1742. In that letter, Goldbach stated that every even number greater than 2 can be expressed as the sum of 3 prime numbers, and Euler replied with a proof that every even number can be expressed as the sum of at most 4 prime numbers. However, the conjecture was later refined to its current form, which proposes that every even number can be expressed as the sum of 2 prime numbers. Despite being one of the oldest unsolved problems in mathematics, the Goldbach conjecture has withstood the test of time, and remains an open problem today. Mathematicians have made significant progress in testing the conjecture for large numbers, but have not been able to prove it definitively. One reason why the Goldbach conjecture is so difficult to prove is that it involves prime numbers, which are themselves a difficult and mysterious subject in mathematics. Prime numbers are numbers that are only divisible by one in themselves, and they occur seemingly randomly throughout the number line. Although there are infinitely many primes, they become increasingly sparse as we move further along the number line, making it difficult to find pairs of primes that sum to a given even number. Despite the challenges posed by the Goldbach conjecture, mathematicians have developed many powerful tools and techniques to study prime numbers and their properties. Some of the most notable breakthroughs in this area include the development of the sieve of Eratosthenes, which is a simple but powerful method for generating primes, and the discovery of the prime number theorem, which provides a formula for estimating the number of primes below a given threshold. Overall, the Goldbach conjecture remains a fascinating and important problem in number theory, and its eventual resolution could shed light on some of the deepest and most mysterious questions in mathematics. Hope you enjoy this topic, if not then comment any topics you would like to see broken down and explained. Leave a like if you liked and leave a dislike if you disliked it. But don't forget to subscribe.